Well, it seems like Minnesota is overflowing with independent craft breweries, each with their own unique spin on everyone's favorite sudsy substance. But we wanted to know, which is the best? You voted and sent Natalie Nias a Surly Brewing Company in Minneapolis. You can't throw a bottle cap in Minnesota without hitting at least one brewery. It's not just about how fast you can make it, how, how much you can make, hopefully. It's also about how, how the beer tastes. But when it comes to the best, you looked to one of the pioneers of small batch brewing, Surly. What happens when you can't find a good beer? It's a little surly. Omar Ansari was a home brewer who wanted to get in the business of beer. So he turned to now head brewer Todd Haug to help him make it happen. But at that point, it was just Summit as a production brewery. So it just seemed like there was an opportunity for another brewery in the market. And that was kind of the uh, what we jumped on. Surly has experienced a meteoric rise in the industry from a single keg sale in 2006 to their giant brewery and tap room opening a year ago. There's no doubt this is beyond anything anyone ever ever expected. It's kind of riding a comet, you know, you gotta just hang on because it sometimes takes two places you don't know. Omar's original plan was simple enough. Convert his parents' abrasives business into a brewery so mom and dad could retire. Now Omar and Surly Brewing Company are living the American dream. My dad left Pakistan because he didn't think he could do it there because it's who you know and, and that sort of thing. But he, that was always his vision that America, you can, it's all on you. You, you kind of make your destiny. Um, and, and so it was, it was really great that he got to see it um, uh, he, he, before he passed away. And that's not all he saw. Yes, the beer is great, the food too. But what Surly really showed Minnesota is the power of the pint. We couldn't sell someone a glass of beer, our beer at our brewery. So that was the ask of the legislature of allow us to change this law so we can build this brewery uh, here in Minnesota. With social media and their fans behind them, Governor Mark Dayton signed the Surly Bill into law in 2011, making it possible for small breweries to sell their beer on site. All the people all over the state, cheers to you guys. And with that, Minnesota's craft beer boom exploded. I get to do what I love at work, and I never thought it would get this big. It's a huge operation that anyone can look in on through the window or on daily tours. So this that, is being cleaned right now. Yep, it's all automated. Now, on to the beer. I love that. Beyond Great Beer, Surly has become synonymous with Minnesota, bringing people together over a great beer. We want to wanted to make something Minnesota was proud of, something that uh, was our own, and that was really at the core, one of the ideas why we built what we did. We're all Minnesotans here and, and really proud of that and try to, and, and it's great to see that people appreciate the, appreciate the effort, you know. Hi, I'm Todd from Surly Brewing, and we're the best craft brewery in Minnesota. All right, if you're a fan of Surly Darkness, they will be releasing Barrel Age Darkness in Minnesota next week, and Darkness will also be coming to Iowa and Chicago next week. Now, your other favorite craft beers were Burning Brothers Brewing in St. Paul, Lift Bridge Brewing Company in Stillwater, and Dangerous Man in Minneapolis. And Natalie was nice enough to bring yeah. us back each one. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to get a chance to drink <laughs> mine, um, but uh, this is my husband's favorite. Take so it when, home to him. Yes, yeah, so when I when I she said Surly gave us beer, I said, did they get furious? And she yeah. said, yep, they did. So. It's a great spot. Yeah. I've enjoyed um, checking that out oh, over there as well. Congratulations mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm.